Hello and welcome back to more Dragon Ball hitting the gong even though the tournament is well and truly over. I am here with my reaction to episode 107. Things are really quite crazy at the moment. Ever since King Piccolo came onto the scene, Pilaf is back for one. I just don't understand how we can have, and I'm just going to throw shade because it's my channel and it's my opinion. I don't understand how we can have one of the lamest characters continue to be in power, to cause chaos and to still exist. Why is he still here? My goodness, I honestly thought that because we saw him in the beginning, that he'd be long gone by now. Like he was just the introduction into the world of Dragon Ball. But I didn't actually expect that a hundred episodes in, here we are. Like, is this guy, don't answer, is this guy gonna just make it all the way to Dragon Ball Z? Is he the final boss that no one asked for? Oh my gosh. Is he gonna be the one to kill King Piccolo? <laughs> These are all things that I'm like, there's no way. There's no way it can't be. So, in the last episode, Goku realized, or maybe he didn't, but he's a stalker. <laughs> he spent the entire episode running after Yajirobe. And while he had a, a decent enough reason for this, you know, it was because he knew that Tambourine would be coming after him. So he thought, well, if I stick with you, then I'm going to eventually find Tambourine. And that revenge is hopefully coming today. Now, don't forget, you can watch this unedited with me over on my website, suzylou.co.uk. <laughs> My brain was going, you know what? I have so much to do today that I was like, my brain was already like a million miles ahead of me just then. You can watch this unedited over on my website, suzylou.co.uk or my Patreon. All the links you need are in the description. And also they are seven episodes ahead. So if you want more than just what you're seeing here today, that is the place to be. Thank you so much for all the love and all the support on Dragon Ball. And with that being said, Tambourine, you're going down. Let's do this. If these guys are searching for the Dragon Balls, there's a big chance that they could end up with Yajirobe right now. <gasps> Join the fight, guys! A long time ago, Gohan told me he was raising a small boy who had a tail. That's me! Gohan was my grandpa! Mm. This is adorable! Oh, it's like Roshi's having like a little reminiscent about everything that has happened. Oh, Krillin! Martial arts. <laughs> this is going to be fun! <laughs> it's interesting looking at Goku's character and like you really couldn't see his neck. God, he has, like, just grown up so much. If it is, I have a feeling that's where we'll find Goku. Mm-hmm. If he's alive. Oh, he's fine. Why you keep saying that? Have a little bit of faith. Okay. Ugh. Revenge time. I'm so ready for this. Stay out of it, Yajirobe. This is Goku's time. <laughs> Like, I feel so much passion right now just because of Krillin. I'm just like, get gone, buddy. Get gone. You talk big. Let's see if you can back it up. I do talk big. You know what? I'm about to back it up. Let's go, Goku. Come on. Yes! Here he comes! Okay, we tried this on the Nimbus. But he's even quicker now. Oh, I can't see anything. See if he grabs him again, though. Oh, my God. I'll freak out. Come on, Goku. Let's 
see what happens next. He's gonna deserve it. Damn right. Pop his eye out. I don't care. Oh, yeah, Jerome's like, okay, I'm getting out the way. Oh, man, revenge is painful. Yes! Is that enough? Is he dead? Oh! I think we got him! I never end up on that kid's revenge list. No way! No way! He made that look so easy! What was in that fish? Well, whoever it is, their movement is erratic. Let's go after them. That has to be- well, no, because Yashirobi's standing still. I gotta admit, Goku, you did a first-rate job. That monster deserved what he got. No, 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 you know what? He deserves to get cut in half and eaten. That's what he actually deserves. I'm with Yajirobe on this one. Uh? What? Come on! Get your sword out, Goku! Oh no. You little rat! Oops, looks like I stopped too soon. Yeah, you're supposed to double tap them when they're down, Goku. How can we, the warrior tribe, be beaten by you? Yeah, Jerome's just gonna slice him. He's like, it's my turn. <gasps> oh! Oh, he didn't even dodge! Has he got Roshi sunglasses? I hope so. Oh my god. Huh? I thought he moved. <laughs> Fall! He was a blender I died! He probably just jumped into the sky, dumbass. Look up! <sighs> Where did he go though? Did he jump up? He must have. I think we should let Yajirobe get a swipe on this one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that blast was pretty weak, if you ask me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You want to try it again? You got any more now power in the tank? The same pain that you gave Krillin. <laughs> Not even gonna feel sorry for him. Wait, ah! you my lunch. <laughs> Power pole, kill him! Power pole, it's dead. No chance you're getting away. Gah! Oh my god, what is he gonna do? Nay! Oh my god, this is the coolest thing! Oh my god, I hope he never enters the Olympics. It's smashable. No. He did it! He did it! He did it! Your Majesty, what's wrong? Do you know what? Thank God for that one. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm sad about Krillin, but I'm so happy that he got what he deserved. Your little uh, team is kind of falling apart. Oh, not there! This shouldn't be happening. Maybe the world got a little bit stronger since you've been gone. Things change, old man. That could defeat these people. I'm not sure I want to know, sir. You already know. You already know. Take this vessel to wherever Symbol and Tambourine were killed. I'll destroy this new adversary myself. Oh my gosh. I don't know exactly how strong he is in comparison to Goku, but I don't know. Maybe we should eat a fish and then so get ready for him. I forgot all about it. <laughs> I had everything ready. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, did we completely obliterate him? Is there nothing left? Well, be patient. I'm sure if you keep that Dragon Ball, another one will be by soon enough.
Mm. Oh, oh my god. Can you imagine if Yajirobe eats King Piccolo? Oh, I'm, I'm so shocked. It feels like this has happened too fast. Like, is it for real? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. It's always in my brain. Ah, oh, it's the Keyblade. I need to get rid of it or something. He's on his way. Oh, what if he gets there and then Roshi gets there? Definitely get a rematch of the century. Two of my finest warriors were destroyed as if they were mere amateurs. I don't know who is responsible for this outrage, but I will personally see to their destruction. Okay, well, do you honestly still think that you were that strong, though? The Dragon Ball we've been chasing has been moving in odd patterns. I wonder... Wait, so who has it then? Because I thought it was them. Who has the Dragon Ball? According to the map, there are three Dragon Balls clustered together and moving towards a fourth. Hmm. Okay. Does that mean someone else is after the Dragon Balls? Do we have some competition? It looks that way. What now? Then you just go in there. You might as well go and get them all, even though you're not gonna. So who could it be? Oh, this is so exciting. So I'm like, oh, they're gonna introduce another new character. They're gonna make it so easy for us. Just get them all in the one place. We'll bring Krillin back. We'll defeat Piccolo. It's near here, master. We're close. I hope this new ball also leads to Goku. So I don't know if they are chasing Yashirobi just now, but he wasn't moving erratically. So I don't feel like it is. And this doesn't look like where they're hanging out. Imagine it's like Chi Chi and her dad or something. <laughs> oh my god, if it is, people are gonna think I've seen this. <laughs> so hopefully it's not. It's probably just on an animal if it's moving erratically. It's right over there. I know what this show is like. It always loves the twists and turns. That's why my brain's like, what could it be? Oh, oh God, don't break the glass. We need this thing. Oh man, no one's getting close to that. Oh. oh, you didn't need to kill them. <laughs> They're gonna be endangered species. Thanks, Chao Su. Oh, I'm so hyped for this. Man, I love Dragon Ball. I just love the way it makes me feel. You stay and guard the plane, all right? Okay. But he's got the magic, though. You might need him. Like, shouldn't Roshi guard the plane? Now listen, right? If Chi Chi is living in a cave like this, something's gone horribly wrong. So it's definitely not. General Blue, maybe. <laughs> My brain's like going through all the people that I'm like, nah, they wouldn't bring them back. He did. <laughs> Roshi! I'm okay. Keep going. I'm fine. Oh, Does he have different sunglasses on? No, okay, they are red. Master, are you alright? Did he get dripped on again? Oh. Uh, master. What? Are you joking me? So no one had it. Why was it erratic? Was it just on a bird? Hey, it's the six star ball. We did it. All we need are three more. Huh. And then we can bring Krillin back. My boy! Well, it wasn't a human, that's for sure. Uh. Those crows, see? Feathers. Crows? Maybe they picked it up from somewhere else and brought it here. 
Uh oh. Maybe they worship it like a master, and you're just about to take and it off them. Crows are attracted to shiny objects like our six-star friend here. I see. I feel like we're being watched. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you should probably mm -hmm. sprint for the plane. You did kill half of their flock as well. Isn't flock sheep? Same thing. <gasps> Work your magic! Oh, I was way wrong. I thought they were introducing a new character. <laughs> Martial arts against the crows! <laughs> it's nice and shiny like the moon. <laughs> Yo! Oh! lucky well that wasn't so bad it was just some crows speak for yourself I hope <laughs> this doesn't leave a scar okay so King we have Piccolo four Goku well Yajirobe has direction. one and then Piccolo has one we almost have them oh no there's still one more the radar's flashing <sighs> uh, one two three four five I count five dots Tien, turn around! And so much easier now to get all the Dragon Balls than it was at the start of the show. If you're right, that means we're about to have to fight him firsthand. It's going to happen sooner or later. I just hope we're ready. I'm sure we're going to win. Oh, bless them. <laughs> ah, if only you knew. Our best bet is to sneak he's already a turkey. Door, surprise him and take the ball while he's not looking. But he would just come after you, so he would never give up. That's too passive for my taste, Master. I say we fight him hand to hand and destroy him. I understand how you feel, Tien, but he's much stronger than you may think. I mean, you say that, but Tien beat Goku in the tournament, and Goku managed to defeat him, so therefore Tien probably could have. Then we'll let the Eternal Dragon exterminate King Piccolo. But, Master, I thought our purpose in gathering the Dragon Balls was so we could resuscitate Krillin. Yeah, but I suppose if we have to do that, Krillin is in, like, a capsule, so he, you know... After one year, we can gather the orbs back together again. At that time, we will revive Krillin. I hope... Like, that's... Uh, okay, that's a long time. Like, what if we were to lose someone else before then? Forgive me, Master, but it worked before. That's what Master Mutaito used to capture Piccolo, wasn't it? In exchange for his life? Besides, there's no guarantee that it would work. If we failed, Yamcha would be the only one left behind to carry on the fight. Oh, man. Yeah, Yamcha, like, he nearly died in the last episode. We can't leave it to him. For Not yet. Have such a reaction to my suggestion. There must be more to the evil containment wave than I realized. Hmm. Yeah, what are you not telling us fully, Roshi? Let's not interrupt their work. Let them hunt down the remaining six. Saves us the trouble. Then when they gather them all, we'll take them in one fell swoop. Well, I thought that you were on your way to Goku, Mr. Cocky up in here. Our immediate attention on finding those responsible for the deaths of Symbol and Tambourine. Okay, so he is still thinking about it. This is good, though. Like, two of them are gone and we only have Piccolo. And you know what? I don't think that he's nearly as strong as he used to be. Call me when you catch someone, okay? I'll give you the ball then. Huh? <sighs> Goku, did you hear what I just said? Don't you hear a beeping? The Dragon Ball is right around here somewhere. Wait, one of them? It's here. <laughs> you mean another Dragon Ball? Just the one, though? Like, not Roshi's? <laughs> What's that? It's not like any bird I've seen. <laughs> Wait. Our... Ours is yellow, right? That's blue. King Piccolo has found Goku first. No! Can Goku survive against such an overwhelmingly powerful adversary? He's Find an old dude. It's gonna be fine. Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. Nah. I'm not concerned. I think it's going to be absolutely fine. I think this show is kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Building him up 
to be this like super strong, unbeatable. But it's like Goku took out Tambourine so easily. And Yajirobe took out Symbol with one swoop, one slice. So I'm just, okay, maybe he was powerful back in the day, but I don't see it. I don't see it now. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think that's why he wants the Dragon Balls, because he wants to be stronger. Like, if he was already super strong, he wouldn't need all this nonsense. Yeah. I call BS on that one, and I think that he is going down pretty soon, and we're going to get Krillin back, and I'm going to get my happy ending. That's what I think about that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.